Hello you gorgeous individuals, how are you doing? Today I'm going to talk about a beautiful, wonderful human being called Wilfredo Pareto. Doing the research for the um, consensus theory vlog that I did um, a couple of days ago, I found the idea of Aristotle's Politicon Zoon really quite fascinating. Are we really rational? Are we really social? Because the way I see it, we voted in a conservative government which doesn't pride itself on rationality or sociability at all. On the other hand, we live in a world dominated by science and technology and progress and things like that. But there is something to be said for human beings being rational. And we can also do things like go to work and pay taxes and say hello. All things that suggest that we are pretty darn social. Pareto spent most of his life in business and only started making theories about things towards the end of his life. This is quite apparent. I don't know whether you've been on the end of a till, but some people, you just want a dropkick in the face. Excuse me, are these pencils organic? Dropkick in the face! So, so yeah, I was wondering whether you could like print out some of these moving pictures? Dropkick in the face! So I hit my laptop over a, a, a Pakistani gentleman's head. Could I have another one? I, I, I didn't think it would break, but it broke. Dropkick in the face. Although Pareto recognised that rational actions do happen, his, ge his general idea was that they were few and far between. And, and, and instead of going out and testing all our ideas ourselves, we rely quite heavily on people telling us stuff. Like me! Or this. Or, if you're really unlucky, this. Posh rages over hooker scandal. Look, Colleen is looking a bit fat. Does she have a child growing inside her or has she failed as a human being? Come pry into the world of people who you've never met. And all these people were frank and funny and feisty. But what Pareto argued was that things like this and things like the sun and the daily mail, which I burn for my own amusement, do endow us with Things which he called sentiments, or, or in other words, states of mind, which may or may not be true. <laughs> but who gives a shit? Every August, the right-wing press gang up on all the 17, 18-year-olds nationwide and say, Exams have gotten easier. Look at all these people getting A's. What has the world come to? But the fact is, exams haven't gotten easier. Instead, the research on this subject has suggested that exams have actually gotten harder due to the increased media pressure to make them harder. And the right-wing press have perpetuated this idea that crime is on the rise. Did you know that in England and Wales, crime has been on the steady decrease since the late 90s? Now, you may think that my rant on the conservative media being the downfall of everything. What does this have to do with a 1920s economist who lived with lots of cats? Well, what, what Pareto wanted to do was create a really beautiful grand theory of of economics, but these sentiments, these states of mind, got in the way. Why? Because these sentiments, these ideas that weren't really verified by anything, inform not just your actions, but the ideas behind your actions. For example, when I was a kid, I told my mate Ross that Father Christmas existed, and he went, ooh. That was my action of telling my mate Ross that Father Christmas existed and he was like really real and everything. Because Father Christmas doesn't exist, but the idea was transferred successfully, the truth of whether Father Christmas exists or doesn't exist doesn't really matter at all. This Pareto thought is what governed actions and things like that. So we're going to start over here with um, the sentiment, this thing in my mind, that Father Christmas exists. This informs, pretty much, the idea that people need to know that Father Christmas exists. This idea feeds into the idea that Father Christmas exists, so it's kind of like a circle. The sentiment that Father Christmas exists informs the theory much more than the theory affects the sentiment. Over here is the action of telling my mate Ross that Father Christmas exists. This is informed by the sentiment that Father Christmas exists and the theory that people need to know that Father Christmas exists. So this strain of, oh, I know best because I'm me, permeated not just through, you know, the average Joe down the pub, but these big, grand, grey economists right at the top. Bloody hell, even I do it. Which is all well and good and everything, but we still don't have a grand theory of economics. Oh, you irrational sentiments, why do you get in the way? His solution 
was to make the equations harder. Which you'll be glad to know I'm not going to go into. Now, now there, are, there are a few problems with Pareto's ideas. The one I'm going to go into is Pareto's use of the words logical and rational, because he uses them quite interchangeably, like a lovely logical rational soup. I'm going to maintain that human beings, despite voting in a conservative government, are in fact rational. What Pareto is talking about is human beings being logical, making connections, even if they aren't really that justified. One of my mates had an LSD trip where he thought that a giant Mars bar was running after him, so he ran away. That is entirely logical. Because if a giant Mars bar was really running at you, I don't know about you, but I'd run away. Logic doesn't rely on the real world verifying anything. Logic relies on things theoretically being true. The general model of logic is a bit like this. Supposing premise one is true, and supposing that premise two is true, then the conclusion, premise one plus premise two, must necessarily be true. Rationality, on the other hand, relies heavily on the real world verifying stuff. For example, it would be irrational of me to drink this tea if I thought that it was poison and I didn't want to die. Furthermore, I don't walk off cliffs because I know that it's going to kill me. Because these life and death situations that confront us every day are far more common. Here ends my vlog on Pareto and rationality. I shall see you soon, my fine young fellow me See you soon.